Um, so I'm back for the video on the empties. This time I'm going to do, do the part about um, more skincare, hair care and everything else as I've done the face products before. So let's just go. Um, I'm going to try and I'm actually going to start with this hair mask uh, that I bought at a hair salon so I don't think you can get it in the super uh, drugstore but it's by Schwarzkopf which is quite a common hair brand. I know in France it's very common, I don't see it that much on the high street here but in hairdressers I've seen it and it's the Hair Therapy Fiber Force so it's one of those things with keratin in and it's my hairdresser who recommended it um, because my, my hair is very fine and it was getting a bit weak uh, again because I go swimming a lot and it's just obviously fine hair gets damaged quite a lot and so the keratin is supposed to get in your hair and reinforce your hair to just give it back this elasticity and protecting it and um, so I did it for a whole month thing and um, obviously used up everything um, and yeah really happy with it actually um, my hair definitely felt more smooth more flexible more flowy as well you know when your hair can really go and do like Ooh. Um, yeah it was a very nice mask she really said not to do it too much like she said to really make it like maybe a one month thing go back to what you usually used to uh, use and just don't have it all the time because maybe too much keratin can be bad for your hair but yeah actually this was very very nice um, very nice product it's a bit expensive, it's around, it was around £16 which for a professional hair mask isn't that bad it's not cheap of course but it is a very nice job and I definitely saw a great improvement in my hair so yeah this Schwarzkopf range, very very good I prefer the mask, she suggested a spray thing uh, but because I already have Marocco oil and different leave-in conditioners to live in, I prefer to have a mask. I feel like it treats you more. Very nice. Um, and on the hair subject, I also have this Caress uh, conditioner. So Caress is a very natural brand. It's a brand from Greece. As you can see maybe by all the writing. Um, well, I'll, I'll put photos on my blog so you can actually have a look. But that, most of it is written in a million languages. Um, again, it's one of those brands, like this one says, 92.2 natural um, contents, most of it is, uh, everything is suitable for vegans. And this one was the one for dry hair, again, I have dry hair, well, ends at least, with almond and linen seed, and um, it smells very nice actually. It smells very almondy, and um, when I started using it, so I was like, oh, okay, it does an okay job, it's okay, just conditioned, it's okay, it works okay. Um, but I've noticed in the month I've been using, um, like every time I've been using that, I've really noticed my hair was just nicer and felt, felt more ha like happy hair uh, rather than dry and very sad hair. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that. I also liked that you could actually unscrew the thing so you could really finish it up and it's actually easier to recycle because if you have luck things, this material is different from this one. So obviously I would think it's not going to get recycled. So to the manufacturers, Start doing all your products like this. I think it's just much easier, much better. And then um, I think it was great thinking from Caress. Um, yeah, this one I still have two other conditioners that I need to finish first. But it's definitely on the repurchase list. I've seen, I've seen it in Liberties. I think it's also on ASOS. So that's definitely part of the stuff I'm, I'm going to rebuy at ASAP. What do we have next? We have, we have, we have the Lusitan Huile de Douche. It's a curl product. So many people have tried it. Um, I'm obsessed with a hand cream, a very light hand cream in the almond Ori range that I adore. It smells absolutely divine. It is just absolutely unbelievable. My hands are slippery from hand cream. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Um, what I like with the idea of an oil is that like, if you feel like your skin is very dry or you're not going to have that much time, it gives a little boost of moisture, so it works really well. Um, yeah, just Really, really happy with this. I'll probably buy it again, but it's a bit expensive, so probably more when I feel like I really want to treat myself or something like this. It's a bit cheaper in France, so maybe, maybe next time I go back to France. Um, what do we have? What do we have? We have too much stuff. On the washing product, I have this one from Rituals, which is one of their foaming shower gel, and if you haven't seen them, I've talked about them already in my blog. I'll link um, the article I made on it. Their foaming shower gels. Um, are just very nice, thick, foamy things, and you just spray a little bit, 
and it just turns from a nude to a very thick foam. It does feel fantastic, I have to say. Like, you really feel like you're treating yourself like a royalty when you use that. And this one is their newest French, it's the Happy Buddha with Mandarin and Yuzu. And it smells a bit like the Fujiyama they used to have before, which was Mandarin and Mint. It's one of those very citrusy feeling thing that really wakes you up in the morning, and I really love citrusy scents. With a bit of sweetness, because usually it's a little sweet, um, so you don't feel like it's too aggressive either. I just love it. I already have one in stock in my bathroom right now. I've uh, been using the shower foam for years, six years, something like this. They also make really good gifts if you want to get little gifts for your friend, your family, or whatever. Um, they're £7, but they feel absolutely gorgeous. And if you go into the ritual store, you can actually try all of the scents there. They always have like things and stuff like that where you can actually try. Um, then we have, we have, uh, this is a bit of a cheat maybe, it's the Garnier Body Tonic um, Gel Concentré Amassissant, which is the slimming concentrated gel. I don't, I haven't seen it in UK. Um, I buy them every time I go back home in France. Um, it's one of the things I haven't seen much around in UK. Like you see some well, it's not really slimming, I'm confident it's going to make you slimmer, but it's just really good for toning. And I've only seen some products like this in very expensive brands uh, here in UK. Like, I know LMS makes an amazing one. Uh, but not really on the high street, and this one is like high street products, I think it's under 10 euros. Or like maybe 11 euros, something like this. And it, I just like the toning, toning action, it just helps really smoothing the skin and I don't really like my legs so it's quite nice to actually have something that helps toning, it's not really expensive, it's just very fresh as well um, I've already showed this in a few blog posts on my empties um, I love it, I have two in stocks already I'm starting using another one, that's part of the products I really like because um, I think it does a good job, it's not too expensive because come on, I don't want to spend £50 on just something to make sure my legs are looking really smooth so it's nice to have something doing a good job we then have another organic pharmacy product, I really like the organic pharmacy. It's the hand cream with Marigold and Comfrey. Um, it's one of the little creams. It smells very unusual, I put the very last drop just before I started filming the video. Um, it's almost very citrusy, fresh flower, it's very hard to describe, it's a very unique. Um, I don't smell um, com um, comfrey too much in too many products, but it's just very very nice. It's just a nice look. I love the texture. It gets in your hand really really quickly, so you don't have this sort of like sticking and everything um, feeling that you can get sometimes. Um, yeah, really really nice. Does a very good job. It lasted me a long time as well because you need very little. It just really gets there very quickly. Very nice. I'm not sure if I'll buy it again because it's an organic pharmacy products are a bit expensive. And um, I use a lot of hand creams every day, all the time, so it, c it could be a bit much money. I'm, I'm not too sure if I'll buy it again. Maybe. Maybe. We have also the Lush uh, Vanilla Delight Body Cream. Um, I started using this one around the time I started going out with my boyfriend, because I remember one of the first times I was like, Oh, we should get you stuff, you know, to leave at mine and everything. Oh, you should make sure you have some of your products. And as we were talking, we passed through a lash shop. I was like, oh, I just want to buy a couple of things. I wanted to buy it for my house in the first place. And we decided to leave that his. And he started really liking it as well. And it became really the... I, I, I just really like the smell. It's gorgeous. Um, it's got a real... It's like a, I think it's a real vanilla scent. So it's not the girly one that gets very sweet. Uh, it can be a bit annoying sometimes. And I find that just too much. It really does smell like real vanilla. A bit more spicy in a way, but just really lovely. It does a really nice job. It's it's gorgeous, and I've bought that a million times again. And um, yeah, it's on top, like very emotional because every time I think about that, I think about my boyfriend. And yeah, it's always nice and a nice feeling. We have two scrubbing products. Kind of a good scrub. <laughs> One of them is again the Rituals product, the Fortune Scrub. Um, that goes as the same scent as this one is part of the new collection. Again, it's exactly actually the same scent. It's Mandarin and Yuzu, it's very fresh, it's just very citrusy. Just really wakes you up. Um, they call it Fortune Scrub because they have this whole theory that it's all a brand that makes you happy and blah blah blah. But truth, very nice scrub, really creamy. Scent is glorious, so fantastic for the morning. And it's not too aggressive, so it, but if you just don't want something that's really harsh on your skin, it does a great job.